Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck next week. There is no doubt, women are the strongest living creation of God. And for that, we're celebrating strong women who have broken barriers in the powerlifting, Olympic weightlifting, and bodybuilding worlds over the past few decades. So we picked the brains of staffers at Men's Fitness, Muscle and Fitness, Muscle and Fitness Hers, and Flex to gather up their list of the strongest women who ever walked the earth. Number 10. Jill Mills. An American world champion powerlifter and a world champion strong woman, Jill Mills was born in 1972 and was one hell of a contender when she was making the rounds. Between 1995 and 2003, she repeatedly smashed records and muscled out the competition to become a first place champion time and time again. Why did somebody say something? Damn! What the hell's wrong with you people? When she retired from powerlifting, she began training future winners interested in following in her footsteps. She won the title of the world's strongest woman back to back in 2001 and 2002. On top of raising her two children with her husband, Milo Mills, the sheer number of first place wins she has under her belt is impressive, and it's hard to believe that any one person could pull off such an impressive feat. Not content to just train future powerlifters Mills also sits as a judge at many competitions nowadays and tours all over the US to give regular lectures. One of Mills' biggest claims to fame was earning the title of world champion in both powerlifting and strongwoman competitions. For a time, Jill Mills was almost a household name featuring in commercials, TV shows, movies, and even a game show. This is on top of the many radio and magazine interviews she's done. With Jill helping to inspire plenty of female powerlifters thanks to the example she's set for the younger generation. Before we move on, we've got a speed challenge for you. If you subscribe to top 10 videos and hit the bell icon in the next 5 seconds, you'll win 10 years of incredible luck, give it a shot, it actually works. Number 9. Robin Coleman. Fairly well known as an actress, Robin Coleman is also an all-star rower, strong woman, and bodybuilder. As far as her acting career is concerned, she's been featured in Medea Goes to Jail, along with being on a variety of soap operas and other TV shows. She's a member of the Screen Actors Guild, which is an unlikely claim to fame for a bodybuilder and powerlifter. Coleman was also one of the initial six women chosen to be on NBC's show American Gladiators. Interestingly, Coleman has also spent time doing acting and stunts for video game cutscenes. Robin has toured the world picking up wins right off the bat very well-rounded. She's a trained boxer, mixed martial artist, and pro wrestler. It seems like she's done a little bit of everything and her career has taken her to plenty of interesting places to be sure. On top of everything else, Robin is also a very competitive rower with plenty of awards to show off. It's clear that she enjoys one hell of an active lifestyle, and she's pretty much done a little bit of everything. Standing in a little over six feet tall probably helped her round a bit, but we're sure she's also got a lot of spirit in order to keep her going at such an impressive pace. Number 8. Tatiana Kasharina. A five-time world champion and eight-time European champion, Tatiana Kasharina is one hell of a competitor. She's also an accomplished Olympian to boot, that said Kasharina has gotten herself in trouble in the past after she failed a drug test. Back in September of 2006, she was suspended from competing for two years due to a failed test. That didn't hold her back much at all, and she set a total of 23 senior world records during her storied career. Yes! Tatiana still holds a lot of those records, with a jerk world record of 185 kilograms and a snatch world record of 145 kilograms. On top of a total world record of 330 kilograms in the plus 87 kilogram weight class. Furthermore, she holds all three world records in the plus 75 kilogram class. Number 7. Chen Wei Ling. An Olympic weightlifter and powerlifter from Taiwan, Chen holds many all-time world records in powerlifting. She also competed in the 2004 Summer Olympics, she only ranked 11th, but managed to win gold in the 2008 Summer Olympics. 
Chen technically placed third back then, but was given the gold medal when her rivals were both disqualified for drug use. For anyone, thank you. There she goes, down, 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 up. Oh, that was, that was. Almost in her 40s now, Wai Ling Chen still competes on a regular basis and is expected to really make some big moves in the near future. She can easily lift multiple times her body weight and has her sights set on the world's strongest woman eventually. Number 6. Jan Todd. Jan Todd, who also went by the name Jan during her powerlifting career, is currently a kinesiology and health education professor at the University of Texas in Austin. She's been with the sports management faculty for quite some time now, and is also involved in sports history, sports philosophy, and sports ethics. Todd seems to have taken to teaching the same way she took to powerlifting. Earning herself the Seward Stanley Honor Lecturer Award from the North American Society for Sports History back in 2008. Todd got interested in powerlifting fairly early on in her life, and was widely considered to be the strongest woman in the world while she was still making the rounds. She set over 60 national and world records, even going as far as being inducted into the International Powerlifting Hall of Fame and the Women's Powerlifting Hall of Fame. In addition to this, Todd received the 2008 Oscar Haydenstam Foundation Lifetime Achievement Award for her contributions in the field of physical fitness and went down in history as the first woman to successfully lift the Denny Stones back in 1979. She remained the only woman to do so right through until 2008, when Lee Holland Keen managed to join her by accomplishing the task over 40 years later. Number 5. Bev Francis. Currently retired from bodybuilding and powerlifting. She owns and operates a gym in Syosset, New York. Frances is originally from Geelong in Victoria, Australia. She actually started her career as a shot putter after she graduated from the University of Melbourne. She also excelled at other track and field events, but by the time the 1980s rolled around she had left the track behind and had her sights set on powerlifting. I always admired strength in anything, whether it was human or animal or the weather or enough thunderstorms. She started things off with a bang setting a world record at the 1981 Powerlifting Championships with a 150-kilogram bench press. The next year she set another world record with a 216-kilogram squat and kept going from there as she added bodybuilding to her repertoire. Her bodybuilding career kicked into high gear after she set her bench press record, but was initially a little disappointed when judges decided she was too muscular for their tastes. She then spent a good amount of time trying to outline a set of definite features for judges to look for during women's bodybuilding competitions. With Gloria Steinem even commenting once that she redefined the boundaries of femininity. Throughout the 80s and 90s, Frances broke over 40 world powerlifting records and was totally undefeated during the entirety of her powerlifting career. Number 4. Abby Stockton. Given the somewhat unfortunate nickname of pudgy Abby Stockton rocked the strong woman scene back in the 1940s and is seen as a pioneer for female bodybuilders today. The nickname Pudgy was given to her when she was a kid and we're assuming she was happy to keep it because she most definitely wasn't pudgy in the least. She weighed around 115 pounds and stood 5 feet 2 inches tall. Abby and her husband, Les Stockton, were both very interested in bodybuilding and powerlifting spending a lot of their time at Muscle Beach where they worked on their acrobatics and gymnastics. The couple began performing together with a bee wooing spectators by picking his 180-pound frame up and lifting him over her head in a hand-to-hand -hand stand. This was quite an achievement and propelled them into the public sphere. From that point on the two were unstoppable and he helped to organize the first sanctioned weightlifting contests for women. She was eventually inducted into the IFBB Hall of Fame in 2000. Unfortunately, she died in 2006 from Alzheimer's complications that said she spent her life opening up doors for female bodybuilders and powerlifters all over the world. And will go down in history as a pioneer and hero for men and women across the world. Number 3. Aneta Florczyk. When she was only 16 years old, Aneta Florczyk knew she was going to grow up to be a power lifter. A repeat Polish champion, she also became a European champion in 2000. She had a bit of an issue when she was suspended from the Polish national team, but was later reinstated when a court ruled that the suspension was unfounded. 
Florksik has been training for strong men and strong women competitions since 2002 and began winning first place within a year of throwing her hand in the ring. The number of records and achievements she has earned during her career is too numerous to mention, but it's worth noting that she appeared on the Polish version of Dancing on Ice and finished the show in third place. Proving that she's a great all-around athlete on top of being a champion powerlifter. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take me 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal you just leave a like on this video smash that subscribes button and hit the notification bell and you'll get 15 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 2. Haney Koivunimi. A finished strong woman high weave enemy cleaned up at the world's strongest woman contest back in 2001, 2002, and 2003. Grim determination on the face of Robin Regenberg Coleman from Venice in California. She placed second in 2001 and third in both 2002 and 2003. Additionally, she won Europe's strongest woman in 2002, and she also holds a Guinness World Record for tossing a beer keg weighing 27 pounds over a bar that was almost 11 and a half feet tall, which is a pretty impressive feat no matter how you look at it. Heine isn't competing at that level these days, but she's still fairly involved in the scene and is a role model for plenty of up-and-comers hoping to hit the big leagues. Number 1. Becca Swanson. Born in 1973 Becca Swanson seemingly knew from an early age that she wanted to be the strongest woman in the entire world. She's given herself the nickname Strongest Woman Ever and has actually done a lot to earn the title in the eyes of the rest of the world. She's been a pro powerlifter wrestler and strong woman holding a variety of world records. Most of her records are in powerlifting including records set for highest squat, highest deadlift, and highest bench press. She's been at it since 1996, and Swanson first hoped to be a bodybuilder. She quickly changed tack and set her sights on powerlifting after she was told that she was simply too big for bodybuilding. Swanson is still the only woman to ever squat 800 times with 54 pounds. Along with being the only woman to bench press 500 pounds and the only woman to deadlift 683 pounds. Her biggest claim to fame, however, is that she's the only woman to ever hit the 2,000-pound club after totaling over 2,000 pounds in a meet in a single day. Her confirmed total is 2,050 pounds. And that's the 10 strongest women in the world. Now, it's your turn. Do you ever want to be the strongest? Let's us know in the comment box. In the end, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon for more upcoming videos.